Now for my taste, the clean crunch channel on this amp doesn't really move me. Uh, it sounds nice, but not quite nice enough. Uh, it just doesn't sparkle as much as I'd like it to. But that's not a slam, that's just my taste. You might love it. So uh, let's go over it. Now something to be aware of with this amp, the channel volume only affects the orange and red modes. The green mode goes straight to master. Uh, I suppose that's so you can crank your channel volume, but by using the second master volume, you can keep your cleans clean. Okay, so let's start by hearing the clean. Clean is easy to understand. Gain down, volume down. Sounds like this. Probably sound better with a split pickup. High pass filter. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, so. Let's see what else we got here. my videos or if you know anything about me as a player you know that I don't really like clean channels but uh, you know this sounds okay it's workable uh, with a little tweaking from the guitar but there's a pretty serious lack of power here I mean this isn't gonna cut it on stage now we can push the clean from three places uh, the gain the channel volume and the master volume let's start with the master volume bring it up here It's getting loud, but still staying mostly clean. If you're using a, a high power pickup, a high output pickup, when you go humbucker. Now, you can uh, reduce that little bit of dirt that you might get in there with the volume knob. Strat uh, would be really nice with this setting, and this will work on stage. You can work this on a stage because you've got some volume and some power. So let's try going all the way now. Let's put the master all the way up, and I'm going to switch on the power attenuator so I don't fly out of my seat here. This is uh, the humbuck. It's pretty damn loud, uh, but it's still pretty clean. Now keep in mind that most clean channels bypass the preamp section. Uh, what you're hearing is the power tubes getting really hot, starting to get slightly overdriven. Uh, now, a lot of modern amps are made so that they reduce clipping in the clean channel, so the clean stays clean even at high volume. An older Marshall would be a lot dirtier at this point. Now, you can also see that if you use a single coil or split pickup, it stays pretty damn clean. So right now I'm just going to play a little bit and I'm going to cheat. I'm going to sweeten everything up here with a little bit of chorus and a little bit of delay courtesy of Sonar. Let's see what we got here.
Titan Dynamics. Okay, so we still haven't tried pushing the channel gain on the green mode. Uh, I'll roll off the volume a little bit here, and I'll raise the gain. Now, uh, since we're dealing with a clean channel at first, at first glance, the gain knob may seem to act as more of a third volume control, or actually a second volume control, since the channel volume is not active here. Well, in the case of a solid state amp, that's really all the gain knob would be. But uh, listen to the change here. All right, so I got the uh, master volume of four here, gain at about nine, and I'm in humbucker mode here. Let's see. What we're dirties up a little bit even with the volume cut now we can raise the volume with the master here and I got to go more power attenuator because this is going to get really loud and check that out that gets some grit uh, it's very subtle overdrive, but it is overdrive. Check it out with a split pickup here. Now there is no preamp gain here. Uh, this is uh, just power tube overdrive. Now, you notice I have the gain very high, but again, since we're not driving a preamp, uh, it's not going to oversaturate, so you can get away with it. Uh, we've got very low level distortion here. I mean, listen to some of this. I would like that to be a little bit brighter, but that's just me. Uh, what I think it sound really sweet here uh, is a little bit of Tube Screamer, but we'll get to that later. Now again, the level of dirt also depends on your pickup. I got my 5150 guitar here. This guitar has an incredibly chunky, heavy sounding pickup. Listen to how heavy this can get on a clean channel. <laughs> This one, you remember this one? See that? Angus don't need no stomp boxes. Now, a pickup like this will always uh, get a little bit dirty when you're dealing with tube amps, and uh, it's really not the best for cleans. Uh, even. That's not bad, but that's a hell of a lot of uh, a lot of low end in there. Uh, not the best for cleans, but a Strat sure is. Uh, this is where you have to choose the right guitar for the sound you want to get. Now, some people might tell you that it's better to have one guitar and an amp and get a thousand different sounds. I disagree. Uh, if you have a limited budget, you know, that can be a viable option, but it does have some serious limitations. I've already shown you what they are. Uh, and as I'm demonstrating here, you can produce a wide range of sounds with simple equipment. Uh, for me, it's always the way to go. Uh, but I'm getting a little bit off track. We still have to cover the crunch modes on this channel here.